No, we didn't fall asleep on the keyboard. That is an actual name a Swedish couple tried to inflict on their son back in 1996. Apparently the name is pronounced Albin, we're not sure how, and the parents chose it as a protest against Sweden's admittedly strict naming laws. Back in 1998 those nasty Norwegians threw a woman in jail, admittedly for only two days, when she failed to pay a fine for giving her son an unapproved name. Eccentric Christy Larson said she was instructed in a dream to name her son Jesher, Hebrew for bridge, but the court were having none of it. Christy did have 13 children already though, so maybe she had just run out of ideas. Unlike many countries which are gradually relaxing name laws, Malaysian authorities have cracked down on unsuitable titles in recent years. In 2006 government Killjoys published a list of undesirable names that weren't in keeping with the religious traditions of the country, such as Cantonese moniker Chowto, which means smelly head. Country living up to stereotype alert. Surprise, surprise the Germans are somewhat officious when it comes to baby naming laws. Regulation loving Deutschland has an entire department, the Standesamt, which decides if names are suitable. Miet was rejected because it didn't clearly show whether the child was a boy or a girl, but sometimes the decisions are somewhat arbitrary. Moroccan authorities banned this spelling of Sarah as it's considered to be the Hebrew version. But spelled with no H, aka Sarah. It's fine as that's the Arabic version. If you want to use a non-Arabic name in Morocco, you can so long as you pay a fee.